Hey everybody, we're going to be doing Jeffree Star today. How are you feeling today, Jeffree? How are you feeling? Okay. You're keeping your emotions hidden. Not everybody, or even anybody, I would say select people if you are being open, fully open about your emotions. There would only be maximum two to three people that are fully aware. You have protection around you, emotional protection around you. You don't want anybody thinking or knowing internally that you are being affected by your current situation with Trisha and any sort of, um, I think maybe Shane or whoever else is involved with the current issues, you're almost wanting to convince yourself also that you're not affected by this. You want to keep burying these feelings because you feel like it's going to make you feel weak. You're going to feel like in a way you're betraying yourself by showing any sort of compassion or acknowledgement of any potential wrongdoing. It's not that you don't feel that way, it's that you don't want to show it. You're controlling yourself. You're controlling any soft emotions that you have by burying it beneath. You're hiding it. So it's pretty apparent here that you do care. You actually do care, but there's fear of your own feelings. There's fear of being vulnerable and you're well aware of your feelings and you're well aware of the darker aspects of life and it scares you It scares you to leave your comfort zone, is what I'm saying. It's like you drew a line between your emotions and you said, okay, I will only feel these certain ways, like I, I am fine to express all of these feelings but when it comes to vulnerability or sadness or admit admittance of any wrongdoing with this I'm I'm not going to appear weak which it's not weak but that's the way that you see it you don't want to feel like someone else has the upper hand on your emotions. It's almost as if you've you've tried to move so far away from looking like that, looking like someone who's emotional, looking like someone who um like you want to look like someone who is untouchable so that no one even thinks that you have a softer side and that's what you have to to protect yourself I see 
indication of your new puppy here and I see it's a reminder of your softer side. It's a reminder to yourself and to other people and I see it as a way to hold you together. Your dogs are holding you together because without them, you have this fear that you don't have any other structure in place that'll keep you from expressing those softer emotions because that your way of expressing yourself in a softer way, your your connection to the softer side of your life is through your dogs. Change is coming for you though because this particular situation, I feel you can see yourself in Trisha in some ways and you can relate to being on the other side of things because you're self-aware and you're smart and you're a deep thinker. You're a very deep thinker. And I, I see that you do have occult knowledge. And so there's a part of you that, there's a part of you that wants to explore those feelings and want, wants to feel safe enough to touch on how she might be feeling and how other people are hurting because of things that you have said or done. But then you pull back and you almost just, it's not a contraction, like it doesn't feel like a, contra it's not like you're contracting, but you are, it's um, not in a forceful way. You're not forcing these feelings aside. It's like you're withdrawing. You're withdrawing your energy. So in essence, you are contracting, but not in, in a forceful way. It's just you end up shrinking yourself instead of expanding. And it's almost like you've decided, okay, I will never... I will never address what happened. I will I will bury it beneath like protective barriers. Um, I will have you know layers and layers and layers so that people can't cross over. They can't. It's like you've built your a wall so high, but it's not just a a wall. Like you've built this persona of yourself so that people, it's like a decoy. You've created this persona as a decoy of who you really are. Because if you have this persona that people are attacking or that people are feeling poor, like looking at poorly you can always revert back to saying, well, that isn't really me. You're judging me based off of someone who I'm not even, is not a real person, you know? In reality, I'm completely different. I'm not anything that I've created you to believe. And the reason I did that is because I'm scared. I'm scared that if you knew who I really was, you would take advantage of me. You would hurt me like I've been hurt in the past. You would mistreat me like I've been mistreated in the past. So I don't want anyone to know who I am. I don't want anyone to get close to me and knock me down in any way at all. You're not cold-hearted. 
You just want to look like you're cold hearted. But at the same time, for you to display how sweet you are to your dogs and whoever you're in relationships with, obviously there's a part of you that doesn't that does care what people think about you in that way like truly what you want to be seen for who you are there is a part of you that's still yearning for that I do see that you might be entertaining some help from the other side um, and what it seems to me like, because here's the thing is that any sort of entity is always a product of God because everything has been created from God. There's never any separation. It's just as far away from it that you can get, right? So I feel like you're hiding, you're hiding, you're hiding. And um, you know, Let me pull from another deck just to get a little more information on this before I, I mean, I'm seeing several messages from these cards. First, this is the storyline of your emotions where you, again, like you've contracted and at first you're like, oh my gosh oh my gosh and it's this it, you you didn't almost revert back to these feelings of vulnerability but there was this you could almost feel it but you've built such like you've you've done a really good job unfortunately of protecting your heart and your emotions that you you almost you almost felt like you needed to take take a step back and maybe apologize or clear things up or just change your behavior essentially um not saying listen like I, this is for everyone, okay? Like, you can do whatever you want to do, however you want to do it. This is not a critique, necessarily, on him, even though it might come across that way. By all means, like, if you're doing something wrong, and you know you're doing something wrong, then yeah, there should... Honestly, like, if you wanted to become a better person, um, change your behavior, but at the same time, you have to also understand, like... Through these cards he's coming from a really hurt place so at least knowing that no that doesn't make his behavior okay but at least we can understand why he's behaving this way right like we've all been in that position before where we've said things or acted certain ways it doesn't matter how old you are it doesn't matter like how profitable you are anything like people are still people and they have to learn in a way that is right for them he knows I mean it's not like he doesn't know it's just that he he's been so hurt he's been victimized honestly is what it seems like he's he's been wounded very harshly early on over and over and over again and he's learned that what he has to do to move forward in life is 
to protect himself and to surround himself by luxuries and to become successful in life. And that is his way of proving to himself that he is successful and that he's moved past these wounds. In reality, you, you have to feel, you have to acknowledge, it's not just entertaining your dark side, it's acknowledging the darker sides, the softer sides, the, the parts that make you sad, the parts that make you vulnerable, because there is strength in being soft. That is truly what changes the world, not to say that what he doesn't what he does already doesn't change the world in a positive way. He's the leading example for a lot of people for being outspoken about his sexuality and about his experiences and being a successful makeup artist and whatever he is. <laughs> makeup guru <laughs> um sorry I don't know exactly I know he's a he's a musician and all that but yeah I mean <sighs> it does feel like he has occult knowledge and he entertains darker entities from time to time but that does not mean that your guardian angels aren't always with you and that's what I'm seeing here because that's who I'm speaking directly with um, in order to get these messages to him. And there's this acknowledgement that through all the pain and suffering that he's been through, they have always been there with him. And he will ultimately be okay through this, which... I think we all pretty much know and Trisha said herself that um, he has a lot of money and he can have lawsuits or whatever that are going to, you know, quiet people down. I do see she is right with that. Um, he will be spearheading some of these in order to make sure that he is still protected. But the main message here is to get in touch with knowing it's okay to be vulnerable again. You're safe now. I don't, I, I feel like if he were to watch this video and he heard that part he would say no 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 I'm not I'm I'm not gonna do that and it would be combative and like almost saying like I am self-aware as you said like I know it, how to feel I know how I'm feeling I am um those ways like I am a sensitive like person but there's a part of him that needs to heal. There's a, a childhood wound that needs to heal. And that doesn't necessarily mean when he was a very, very young child, this can be all the way up to like his 20s and it continued on into his life. I feel this great deal of sadness. Like it makes me wanna cry. Cause I feel like he's so, he felt so alone and different and misunderstood and um, I'm sure this is somewhere in his story but that's exactly why he is why he acts and the more people attack him the more closed off he wants to be because he feels like it's just a persona and he feels like it's it it's re refueling um that persona 
it's like now it just built you know people what people say about him um is just it's like cement for the wall you know it's just building it building it and building it even higher and higher and higher because no one's actually acknowledging hey this is why you're acting that way this is who you really are then he has nowhere to hide get in touch with your creative side express who you really are through your creative side you have a lot of choices and decisions to make from here on out and I do feel things are changing for you for the better you're not going to be this person forever I don't believe that I think you're fighting against it let me close the blinds for a second you're fighting it but this pull to improve yourself emotionally is too strong. I think your dogs have something to do with it. That new dog or something to do with your dogs is going to soften you even more. And there's going to be some new project that you're working on that is supposed to bring you money that you've you're keeping secret for now and when you invest all of your creative energies into that and you invest all of your emotions into that there's a part of you that you're going to share with the world that you haven't in a long time and I don't think that people when they see it should discount you and say it's for any other reason but truly you are changing and you have you have Trisha to thank for that because she's she's a good friend to you she was meant to be in her life for a reason for this reason because it's coming full circle for you. She's in the position that you were in at one point in life. Feeling this the same way that you did at one point. Someone you dearly miss is forever present in your heart. Remember, dearest one, that even though there has been a physical parting, spiritually those we love never leave us. Creation is eternal. Nothing is ever truly missing for all is interconnected and ultimately one. This really ties in beautifully to number one, the passing of one of your dogs has been a catalyst in this. The addition of a dog or dogs is a catalyst for this. Realizing the relatability in the things that you have done to people have been done to you to some capacity and realizing that hurt people hurt people and healed people help people and that's not to generalize in saying that hurt people only do bad things you know to other people by hurting other people at all because you've done a lot of good in the world whether people want to acknowledge that right now or not you've done a lot of good but that doesn't negate some of the bad things that you are doing or have done because in reality you're doing it to yourself you're not being true to yourself you're not being open about who you really are and you're doing a disservice to yourself by being that way because you don't want to. I don't see in any of these cards that you want to be like that at all. Like you feel stressed out and sad and guarded all the time. Like you feel like you're always on edge. 
you don't feel relaxed. You're always protecting yourself. You're in protection mode. You're in fight mode constantly, 24-7. That's what it is. When your spirit guardians want you to truly enjoy life, they want you to feel what it feels like to have trusted people around you. Honestly, I, I don't know, okay, if Trish is the one for you um, to be like someone that like your confidant or anything like that. But I do feel like she's a very important person. That's that's it would be like for you, but before Trisha and after Trisha of your life changing. Like you're not going to be the same person as you were before this incident. And I do feel like there's something in her and you that are very relatable. And I mean, there's still potential if you wanted and she wanted to rehash things and work things through and even use, not use her, but um, know that she's a safer place or a safe place to practice being yourself, practice being a little bit softer. Um, maybe not completely, but that'll give you, that'll give you the stepping stone to slowly break down your walls. Even if all seems lost, let not hope slip away. For I, your guardian angel, am constantly by your side. Surrender all your concerns to me and trust in the healing power of love. Please believe that you are never alone. Together we shall work through each issue or situation which is of concern to you. All heals with the passing of time. Magic and miracles are about to manifest. I agree. I agree. Just forgive yourself and forgive other people the best way that you can and honestly forgiving doesn't mean that you condone what people have done by any means at all it's it's really about understanding why it happened in the first place which is they were hurt in some way to some capacity that they didn't know any better at the time and unfortunately, that's, that's why, that's why for every situation, um, when you hurt someone, think about it, like, it's because you didn't, you didn't know, you know, how it would affect the other person, or you didn't know that you were acting out of fear, you didn't know at the time that you're doing it because you were hurting yourself so you're projecting it onto another person you didn't know that you were raised incorrectly and so you were just operating off of what you have been taught without thinking for yourself he's not going to lose his empire he's not going to lose any money in this in fact he's going to be gaining money he doesn't <laughs> it's gonna sound inter interesting because I feel like he's put on this show as if that's all he cares about but he doesn't care about money money is part of his wall of protection you can't hurt me because I have so much money I have F you money you can't get to me because you are distracted by the things that I have not who I am. There are so many people though who see you for who you are. It's you who won't turn around and look in the mirror because you're afraid. But you're not going to be afraid for long. You're going to address fully, you're going to address fully the sadder sides of your life, the darker sides of your life, and reflect, truly ref reflect 
on why you do certain things. I see that here and I truly believe that. And I think what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn around and it's gonna be so overwhelming for you that you're gonna spin back around. You're gonna wanna ignore it. But because you've already touched on it, there's gonna be that desire to keep trying because you're not one to give up. And I don't feel you're completely hardened because you feel so lonely. You feel so lonely inside and so guilty. There's a party that feels so guilty because you aren't this person. You are actually a very sweet, sens sensitive person. But you're so, it it's almost like even like the nice things that you do for people, that's your way of showing them. And then it gets misconstrued because you do all of these other things or say these things that then they confuse or neglect the nice things that you're doing because you do things that are bad. Um, and so that's your excuse of like contracting your energy and being like, okay, no, you don't understand me. Um, but I believe, I believe in you. I do. I really do. And you, you do have Trisha to thank for this to some capacity. So that's your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will see you guys on Monday. Bye bye.